here is a suggestion for a schedule of the practice just like your other experiments in the case of natural method the time can be morning 3 hours before rising in the first 6 months you should try to remain in the projected state for 1 minute at least that can sound a little bit too less for some of the practitioners so you can have your own schedule and you can change it as per your needs this is only an example is the bare minimum for the next 12 months try to do it for 5 minutes at least next 24 months it can be increased to 10 minutes and after that the experiments can go on for more than 20 minutes now i've seen that even 10 minutes are sufficient to get a lot of experience here in this state unless you are doing something really important in the projected state and there is no need to remain there for more than 10 minutes in this can be a daily schedule or if it is too much for you it can be weekly or biweekly similarly for the indus the time is 1 hour after rising that is the early morning time approximately 3 am in the morning or if you cannot do that in the early morning then the best time is 30 minutes after lunch where the body is already relaxed and there are no demands on the ego so there can be some side effects of these practices just like there are side effects of your waking state practices and dreaming state practices there can be effects on the body and it is seen that although it looks like that i am only operating in a dream and it looks like that these are completely subjective and mental experiences it can have a very visible effect on the body and that is why people with illnesses or weak bodies should not do the practices they can attempt one or two things but if you continue then there will be adverse effects on the body remember body is also layer of the memory it is connected to other layers if the energy is withdrawn from the body it's almost like a death and there will be effects on the body so the usual effects are tiredness and uh, loss of balance it looks like that the body is getting weaker if you go to a doctor nothing will be detected then there can be effects on the mind which um, you can suspect very easily the biggest effect on the mind that i have seen is fear if you try these experiments without any kind of purification first then the fear will creep in sometimes the fear is so much that merely a description of these experiments will cause tremendous amount of terror in those who are listening so people with weak mind who are not courageous enough who are not even interested in this thing should not experiment you should not have this delusion that i'll get something out of this practice overcome the fears and when you are successful in your experiments you will see that your mind changes completely because a ton of the beliefs are destroyed your beliefs about who you are your beliefs about what this world is your beliefs about the society your parents your relatives everything is going to go down the drain these experiences are very very powerful it will change you completely even one experience of one minute is enough to change your entire life they are so real there will be changes in your behavior world view you are not going to see the world as you see it now and there will be changes in personality and it it won't be a small change people won't recognize you this will be the immensity of the change so be prepared for that when you take on these kind of practices or experiments if you do it too much and if you are not maintaining the poise as i said that is the most important thing to do if there is awareness but it is flickering you will notice that there are now spontaneous projections any time in 24 hours now the door is opened the attention is free to move now there are no walls so it can go any time into the projected states and you will start seeing or hearing or feeling things which you don't normally in the waking state 
we call them hallucinations they will be almost as real as things in the waking state if you are seeing people they will be as real as the people that appear in our waking state and it will be very difficult to tell that these things are unreal because these experiences are going to distort the intellect our intellect is derived out of our waking state experiences and i call it the waking state intellect now as soon as the memory bridge is formed between the projected states and the waking state the memory here is going to change a little bit and the intellect will start getting some kind of distortions remember that the intellect that we have developed here is based on our experiences in the waking state and if other experiences that are totally unlike the waking state and as real as waking state are impinging on the same intellect it is going to change and other people are going to perceive it as a distortion they will think you are going mad so only very strong intellect can survive the side effects here you need to go again and again to the waking state and ground yourself in the waking state after two or three trips you need to stop and ground yourself so that the intellect remains what it is so that your daily life is not affected so much it will be affected but you can take that kind of uh, blow now because you are ready for it if if it is not done under proper guidance and without this kind of training without this kind of precautions and knowledge where we tell the person beforehand look this and that can happen then uh, it is possible that there will be temporary madness if the person is not prepared beforehand or if the experiences arrived very quickly instead of it happening in 12 months or 24 months if they happen in one day 24 hours it can happen and if it is over then then there will be obvious effects on the intellect it is normal to have some delusions initially at least you are completely awake you are completely aware and you have tested that you are in the waking state all your tests they are showing that you are in the waking state but you will be convinced somehow that it is not the waking state you will think it is one of the projected states this is a deluded state where no amount of evidence is enough to convince you that you are not in a projected state even your intellect is going to be confused all your logic and rational abilities they are worthless when this happens so my suggestion here is that don't overdo it remain grounded and do not do anything which is dangerous in the waking state also no matter how convincing your illusion is that this is a projected state act as if you are in the waking state and you will be safe and this situation can go away by itself as the mind adjusts to the new experiences your nature is going to change mostly if you are selfish if you are proudy you're full of hubris you think i know everything and so on i am superior than this and that person if this is your nature you will be made very very small there will be a feeling of humility and sm- smallness because you have seen something really big if opposite happens if there is some kind of complex megalomania or superiority complex some kind of lowliness arises that means there are impurities that means something nasty is waiting for you in the future and there will be a feeling of happiness overall joy freedom fearlessness and most of the people are going to turn into spiritual seekers if they are not already they will take up uh, a proper spiritual path under a proper master because these experiences are life changing so because of this freedom because of this new found knowledge you will feel that you are liberated from the bondage of ignorance somehow that will manifest as joy freedom you will know for the first time that the death is an illusion and then that will cause fearlessness you won't do anything because you are afraid fear drives ordinary people because of your interactions with the guides or the masters in the projected states you will gain extreme amount of knowledge 
there is nothing that you won't know and you can answer each and every question under the sky this is like a dream come true for a seeker on the path of knowledge although i keep repeating that whole of the knowledge is here also this is also your waking state is also projected state there are masters here also so it may happen that you are stuck in some country which is a spiritual desert of some kind or is under the grip of fundamentalist religions or you are totally brainwashed by communism or materialism or something like this and there is no guru around you for many miles and in that case this kind of experience is a gift from the universe in very very rare cases it can give rise to kundalini activation you will get kundalini symptoms it is very very natural that this may happen it comes and goes and if it does not you need a master in even more rare cases supernatural events can happen around you so i'm not going to go into d- details of that because it can be anything something interesting may happen if you are preparing for these experiments or you plan to do them for a long term you will be given fear tests which means your worst fear will be manifested and your reaction to it will be seen and if you do not pass this this test the experiences will end for you no matter how hard you try no matter which technique you try you won't be able to get into the projected state with complete awareness and this is for your own protection probably there are guides probably you already have masters on the other side and they can detect that you are not ready for this you got this knowledge you got the technique from somewhere on the internet and you are not prepared yourself mind is completely impure you are full of fear and ego and that is going to cause uh, retardation of progress and stuff advancement and so this can be detected using the fear tests or probably some other tests stupidity test lameness test and so on and then this this door is closed for you till the time you are ready again so it is a temporary thing so it is not that there will be only one fear test and then it is closed forever no every time you try it there will be a test you are given many chances sometimes you run into very bad worlds lower worlds and that can lead to temporary positions and if this happens you will need somebody who is expert in positions to get rid of those positions and the position has happened it means only one thing that the mind is totally impure there is no will power there is no knowledge there is no training and the seeker if you can call him the seeker is full of lower qualities animal tendencies so these people who go there without preparation find some kind of tantric or baba on the street and then they start this experiments they are likely to get this kind of possession experiences it is not permanent obviously but it's a lot of trouble especially your relatives and all they will be terrified and that is the end of your spiritual career sometimes it is not a possession but there is a parasite which can cause loss of health loss of uh, mental abilities and so on so the parasites can be detected easily by only by experienced teachers otherwise they remain unseen they drain you and that is also a result of doing these practices with an impure mind and body if the layers are not purified first then all kinds of dirty things they attach to these layers because by doing these experiments you are actually exposing yourself to all kinds of creatures out there when you are ignorant you you know only this body nothing else then you are very safe now i am not trying to count all the negative effects here only there can be positive effects also just like i said and one of the positive effect is that sometimes in very rare cases in talented people uh, powers will start manifesting the siddhis will start appearing so now because of this uh, open doors you will be able to see in the minds of other people you will be able to heal them you will be able to predict things especially the disasters or deaths and uh, you will be able to 
gain information simply by touching the objects or going to a place. You will be able to detect the water in the ground or solve the crimes and so on. Usually the powers also come and go. Powers to talk to the dead people and so on. So these are the side effects of your experiments. If you think I am ready for this, only then you should enter this field. Otherwise leave it for the experts. On the path of knowledge we do some simple experiments and we convince ourselves that yes, this is the bigger picture. This is how the universal mind is. It is exactly like that which was told in the videos of the path of knowledge series. Once you are satisfied, you stop the experiments. There is no need to do them for the rest of your life. There is no need at all. Only if your master says, only if your guru says that, okay, you can do that. You can continue your work in the projected states. Only then you need to consider it. Otherwise, you got the lesson. Now there is no need. Get out of there. This life, this waking state, is most valuable state for us humans. As soon as it is over, you are in the projected state for millions of years. So there is no hurry. I don't want to know it today. <laughs> it is all projected states from now onwards. If you have decided not to come back as humans again in this death world, then there is nothing except the projected state. Even if there are births in the human form or any other form, they will be seen as blink of the eyes. I blink. It is The human life is very short. What makes it intolerable is repetitions. How many times are you going to repeat the same life? Accept that. There is nothing bad in human life. There is nothing bad in forgetting the big picture also. When you are watching a movie, you forget the outside world. You are totally absorbed in the movie. That is the success of the movie. This world is like a three-dimensional movie where you are absorbed, where you are projecting your avatar here in this virtual reality. Nothing wrong in this. Our ignorance, our lack of awareness makes the experience unbearable, turns it into a suffering. We suffer that which we created for our entertainment. That is the paradox of all paradoxes. So if you want to avoid all these negative side effects that I told, there are few precautions here. First, I am repeating it a lot but it is important. You will need a master. For one or two experiments, you don't need anything. If you want to continue, if you are very very interested, you want to become an explorer of the non-physical, of the universal memory, you will need somebody, some guidance. If you get a guidance in the non-physical itself, good, fine. But if you do not trust these things, you need somebody whom you can trust in the waking state. Avoid all kinds of extreme practices. Do not do it just because you want an experience. By hook or crook, you want to get there. Yes, the lure of it is very strong, but do not let it corrupt your wisdom, common sense. You will need an unbroken practice of staying aware in the waking state and dreaming state. Otherwise, you will find that your projections or your experiences in the projected state will become darker and darker, meaningless waste of time. You think that, okay, I am aware now in the projected state. I can drop my practices in the waking state and you will immediately see an effect that now you cannot remain aware in the projected state also. It will become ordinary sleep. Then again, do not practice reluctantly, half-heartedly. It's not going to produce any result. Do not practice because you expect something or you have any other fears and you are trying to find a solution of your fears in the projected state. Do not practice with impurities. They will cause all kinds of bad effects. If you see the bad effects, stop the experiments immediately. Consult your master. If you gain success, avoid the hubris. If you don't gain success, don't be envious, jealous. Do not display any kind of lowliness. If you are unsuccessful, do not mock people who are successful. Do not say that you guys are crazy. I went there, I saw nothing. Well, that means there is some problem in you. 
and very important that uh, avoid violence and negativity in all worlds do not think that they are not real well nothing is real then by this criteria everything is real so it may look like dream it may look strange but do not kill things there do not spread negativity in the worlds other worlds there will be extreme consequences if that is done if you are not sure what it is if you do not have the complete knowledge then do not teach anybody especially to the minors do not teach people who are whom you think are not ready they are fearful do not even mention about these practices yes they are worldly they are materialistic and they are hopeless but that does not mean that we put them in any kind of danger maintain secrecy because ordinary person is going to be terrified of you as soon as you say <laughs> that i am going in some other world i am meeting some other entities they are going to be terrified of you and a person who is fearful can act in a foolish manner can cause problems in your waking state do not even mention it to your family and friends and a, a seeker is very very fortunate because they don't have family they don't have friends or they have friends that are only seeker kind you can be open about your practices there but if you are surrounded by ordinary people ignorant people then it will be wise to zip your lips if you are in a country where these things are considered anti religious like they can burn you alive it happened in many countries in the past there you need to maintain secrecy or get out of that country why are you in that country now beware of fraudulent teachers so many teachers they are going to claim that they are going to give you these kind of experiences remember that the teachers can give you advice they can give you techniques and tricks or they can sometimes save you if you commit some kind of blunder there but they cannot develop the necessary qualities in the student this must be done by yourself the teacher can tell you look this is awareness and you need to do this kind of practice but they cannot give you awareness if some if some teacher is telling you that in my presence i will take you to the other worlds and show you all the gods and goddesses that you worship just give me 50000 in cash you need to run away from that place that is impossible so you can buy the books you see there is no harm you can you can even join a course or something there is no harm but please do not commit to any kind of cult it is that is harmful again i wish to repeat that do not use machines or drugs once you are dead there is no machine there is no drug know the other worldly beings very well do not trust them do not trust any when in the non physical worlds just because that thing is dead does not mean that he has turned into an angel they remain what they are if they are lowly and evil in the waking state after death after shedding the body no miracle is going to happen to them they will remain like that the memories are not destroyed so the tendencies remain you don't know what is who is who in other worlds so just experiment do your experiments quietly gather the knowledge I don't want anything from anybody. I am here just to look and then I am going away. This should be your attitude. Do not engage in any kind of transactions or trade. That look, I'll do something for you and in exchange of that you need to do something for me. Just give me this many kgs of gold and I'll give you something that you want. Blood of a virgin girl or something. Who knows what they demand. Now, you need to be very careful here. <laughs> and do not do any kind of transactions do not do any kind of business do not sell your soul to the entities there so here we can end the methods and experiments of the projected states i hope you have enjoyed this four or five episodes on the projected states and now we are left with only one state which is very simple really not complicated which is deep sleep the state of deep sleep and yes we can conduct some experiments and bring that state into awareness it is possible so we are going to explore deep sleep in the coming episode and i wish you all the best for your experiments